To the DL Boxing Podcast. I am your host, Coach D, along with co-host neighborhood hero Ryan Reels and Bad Chaz, where we talk about the sport you and I love, boxing. Well, guys, welcome. Hey, man, what's up? Hey, what's going on, guys? Hey, it's Thanksgiving week, man. Oh, man. Are you guys looking forward to uh, grubbing on Thursday, man? Oh, man, I can't wait, man. Of course, man. Looking forward to seeing the family, friends, yeah. you know. It's right. Just a, it's always, it's a, always a blast. Exactly. So uh, you guys big fans of the staples of Thanksgiving, you know, the turkey, the ham. <laughs> Uh, uh, you know yeah, what? Yeah, I am, man. I, I got to say, man, like the last year, that turkey just came out perfect. I can't wait to eat it again. Yeah, what style? Did you guys uh, uh, you know what? Just, uh, just put it in the bag, bro. Put it in oh, the okay. oven, you know what I mean? So, Bunch of butter? Yeah, <laughs> stuff it with the stuffing and yeah. some chicken gizzards and, you know, all the Ooh. food, all the fixings. Huh? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah nice. it's, it's an awesome time. Yeah. Uh, uh-huh. Big fan of turkey, brother? Uh, you know what? Yeah, I'll, I'll take it as I get it. You right. know what I mean? But I, I like the desserts, you know, yeah. I like the sweets. and then, Dude, uh, the desserts. Yeah, bro. I'm a big fan of pecan pie, bro. So, oh, okay. you know, I think someone's going to make homemade pecan pie. And, you know, <laughs> nice. That's nice. We're going to have a nice uh, slice of that. Sounds good. All right, guys. Well, let's recap the fights mm-hmm. that happened last weekend. Let's start off uh, by recapping the uh, the prospect, Daniel Cortez. Uh, he fought last Friday mm-hmm. uh, in San Antonio, Texas. Yeah. He improved to 3-0, earning a, a decision nice. win over Jesus Arturo Guzman, who was a very tough, rugged fighter. Uh, had, I think, like 16, 15 fights going into, you know, going into the bout. Uh, neighborhood hero Ryan Rios. How'd you see Daniel Cortez, man? You know what? I thought he looked good. You know what? I thought he had a nice, high, tight guard. You yeah. know what I mean? He kind of reminded me somewhat of... Um, Oscar Valdez, a little bit, of- just kind of stalking his opponent, you know, just kind of like, you know, kind of taking what he gives him. Yeah. Um, but that that guy he fought, dude, was durable, dude. He, he was, was rugged, he was, man. man. He was a veteran. Yeah. And just for Daniel to go in there and just kind of just take it to him like that, dude, was impressive, dude. Right. And uh, I really like what I saw. And just, man, dude, I can't wait to see him in that ring again because, dude, he's gonna get better and better, dude. He hasn't reached that potential yet. Right. And just the way he's going is just. It's only up, you know yeah, what I mean? For sure, man. Yeah, Batches. I liked how he, ha- like you said, he kept his high guard, and as he was pressuring, he kept that guard high yes, and then did. delivered nice shots to the body. How mm-hmm. did, did you see that, man? Uh, you know what, man? It was kind of hard for me to, to watch it just because uh, I was on my, I had to watch kind of uh, on yeah. my phone, you know, and <laughs> yeah, I was yeah. watching it through uh, Mikey Garcia's uh, live stream and stuff. Right. So, you know, it was kind of hard for me to see that that left hand of the body, but, uh, you know, just watching him, you know, coming with that high guard, you know what I mean, and, and press and press his opponent, yeah. you know, that has, mm-hmm. a, has a pretty good record and stuff he's just a he's a stud for a prospect um he's just the only way is going up and i mean he's he's still in in a in his uh his youth body man wait yeah, till he hits right. that 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 like growing spurt yeah. you know and he gets yeah. that young man body like um you know i think you're just gonna have you know a, a totally different animal and um you know what i mean like uh just looking forward to you know his next fights and stuff so i mean um yeah 100 yeah. what do you yeah. think coach d uh, man what yeah, do you no. see yeah like i said uh he, he was very patient with his uh, with his pressure yeah his attack you know the, i love the high guard you know he's being uh defensively responsible Responsible, you know, dipping under shots, uh, hitting the body, and you know, just you know, taking like you said, taking what he's he's given, mm-hmm. and and you know, winning the fight. Yeah, yeah. Man. So congratulations, Daniel Cortez, on three and zero, man. Congrats, Daniel. Yep, awesome, man. Fantastic. All right, guys, let's move on to the main event that was on the DAZN card last Saturday. Mm-hmm. Uh, we saw Jaime Munguia take on Gonzalo Gaston Coria. Mm-hmm. Bad Chaz, oh, what'd you man. see, man? I seen Jaime McGee, man. It almost looked like this, just everything that I've seen before. I mean, <laughs> right. I mean, I can't say that I was like really excited to watch the fight. You know, yeah. I had no uh, idea who his opponent was and stuff, but I still wanted to watch it just to kind of, you know, see how it played out and kind of see what, you know, uh, what what's next for him. I mean, mm-hmm. um, you know. Yeah, we got the theater of the expected, right? Yeah, yeah. pretty much. Yeah, and like you said, he was 40 and 0 coming in, man. Uh-huh. I was like, I thought you were kidding me last time. Somebody I forgot what his record was. Yeah, so he earns his first first victory with a third round KO. Uh, Did you see anything that? I, mean, I, I couldn't really take too much from that fight. Yeah, yeah me either. Because, yeah. I mean, uh, again, who is this guy? Like, who can we compare him to? Right. And it's just like kind of doing uh, Mungia a uh, disjustice. It's, it's like. <laughs> You know, he's not gaining any experience. He's not gaining anything out of just going over and and uh, taking care of these guys that don't belong in the ring with them. Right. Yeah, you know they, they mean? offer no resistance. Nothing, nothing. nothing. Yeah. yeah. So, um, again, like, I'm a little disappointed on that fight. I kind of want to see him step up that yeah. competition, but... You know, what, yeah, do you, what do you what do you say? Uh, would you put uh, 
Triple G in front of Charlo, or would you, would you, or what, what would, who would you give him next? For Mungia? Well, yeah. he's actually the mandatory for Genebec. Yeah. Oh, okay. I would yeah. stick with that. So, yeah, why not for the WO uh, middleweight title? Uh, but we're not alone, guys. Uh, Sergio Mora, the zone analyst, he, he said it himself like, I'm tired of seeing Mungia in these fights. Yeah. You know, you know, no more of these kind of fights, right? He needs to step yeah. it up to face a champion, you know, or, or some other top three contender, uh-huh. you know what I'm saying? So, yeah. Yeah, yeah but. Nonetheless, uh, congratulations to Jaime Mungia yeah. on a third round yeah. knockout. Congratulations. congratulations, man. Yeah. All right, guys, it's Fight Week. All right, guys, let's start off with the thriller card that'll be on Fight TV. Uh, uh, this fight card will be in Carson, California. Uh, on the undercard, we're going to have two thirds of the Vargas dynasty. We'll have Amado Vargas, who is 4 and 0 with two KOs. He will be in a four rounder. Mm-hmm. Uh, what's your take on Amado? You know what? Again, uh, he's part of the Vargas dynasty, so I'm rooting for him. You yeah. know what I mean? Mm-hmm. And it's too—it's kind of still too early to tell, like yeah. uh, you know what what he brings. But at the same time, like he's four and zero, so I mean, hopefully he can kind of like uh, keep building on that resume, and and hopefully yeah. he can get some more knockouts on that yeah. resume also. So I'm looking forward to it. And again, I mean, um, I'm part of that Vargas dynasty yeah. team, so hopefully right. you know they continue to improve. Right. Yeah. And I like that the brothers support each other. Right, Bad Chad? Oh, yeah, man. I think that that's great. That's mm-hmm. probably what, what uh, spices it up for me, man, yeah. is knowing that these guys are all kind of working out together and, mm-hmm. you know, this this uh, brother connection, you know what I mean? And they're yeah. they're yeah. getting Pushing to, each to other. spar each yeah. other. Right. They're getting mm-hmm. to kind of, um, you know, uh, work on each other's game and stuff. And I think that, you know, yeah, he's he's uh, he's kind of a household name. You know, he's still a prospect. But, I mean, we have that that uh, that excitement, you know, that the Vargas uh, team brings and stuff. That, yeah. yeah. You know what I mean? I think that these guys are just going to... Uh, develop well yeah Mm -hmm. and then also on the other card we have the other vargas fernando vargas jr who is six and no i believe all of them are by stoppage uh he will take on alex martinez in a six rounder um fernando vargas jr Mm -hmm. uh he's the oldest of the brothers yeah uh another solid fighter man i mean what can i say he's starting out six you know six fights uh it's still learning right right like you said uh the brothers are pushing each other you know they got Mm -hmm. each other's backs and and pushing each other and they're only going to get better fight after fight right right? so so i think we all wish them you know the best of luck we're there uh to see them and see them succeed right yeah and they're all being promoted very well right now so like we're all kind of getting them like uh you know, we, we, we know about them, you know, we know who they're fighting, you yeah. know, like right. every, nothing's no secret with these guys, yeah. you know what I mean? So like, uh, it, it's going to be exciting, you know, so we'll it's see. It's always cool whenever you get like uh, brothers on the same card, you know, yeah. like it's Bam oh, yeah, Rodriguez it's really cool. and, uh, you know, uh, his brother yeah, and right, then, uh, cool. and then it was the Maloney's too. Like they've been on the same card yeah, before, right? Yeah, right. Like, uh, so right. Cool. there's like the, now here's the Vargas version. Huh? Right. Yeah. yeah. So uh, let's just let's try to outdo in each in other. And, yeah, you know what I mean? Yeah. Right. It's always fun yeah. to watch. Right. Yeah. I agree, man. Awesome, man. Also on that pay-per-view card, uh, the main event is for the vacant WBC junior welterweight title between Regis Progre against Jose Cepeda over 12 rounds, guys. That's going to be potentially uh, a fight of the year type of yeah. fight. Ryan Reels, how do you see that, brother? Man, dude, that's dude. It's a fifty-fifty fight to me. I like both fighters, man. And honestly, when Regis fought uh, Josh Taylor, um, dude, that was a close fight, man. I think mm-hmm. he, uh, it could have went either way. You know what I mean? And then Taylor took it to Ramirez. Yeah. So uh, and then Zapata fought Ramirez. Right. So there's just a lot of things that, like, you know, I have my eye yeah. on, and I want to see what they're gonna do, dude. And I want to say, you know, like. Um, it's a pay-per-view, right? Yeah, it's a pay-per-view. Yeah. Okay. Mm-hmm. So I want to say, like, it's it's you, you guys got to make sure you guys keep your eye on that because it's on Triller, right? Yeah, it's Triller, not just yeah. on a, another yeah, Fight TV, Fight uh, TV app. Yeah. So, so we're gonna have you're gonna have to pay for this one, but at the same time, it's it's worth it. It's gonna be worth it. Right. You know, what I mean? it's a good card, and both fighters are great. Uh, we actually seen Jose Cepeda fight in Vegas on the undercard of Josh Taylor, Jose Ramirez, and uh, he didn't look too impressive. But he all always rises to that competition, yeah. and it's for that uh, WC belt, yeah, WBC, which uh, yeah. Stitch said it's the most prestigious belt out there, and yeah. I agree. Yeah. Right. So I mean, there's going to be fireworks, dude. Yeah, it's for that belt. lately yeah. has been on you know firing on all cylinders. He like, has, seems he like has. he's gotten better from that experience from those top fights that he's yeah, been having. You're right. You're right. Which you know, which we tell all fighters, man, fight the fights. It only makes you better, right? Mm-hmm. Did you guys um, uh, Did you guys happen to hear Zapata got in a car accident this week? He did, right. dude. He did, yeah, bro. and uh, and he and he's still going to work. Yeah, <laughs> right. He's right. Still going to work this weekend. Still yeah. like a like a soldier, man. He's like, yeah. I'm cool. I'm okay. Yeah. His you brother know, got rushed to the hospital, and w- he went for a run or something like yeah. that. Yeah, yeah. I heard that. That's freaking. Uh, it's a war, that's man. crazy, yeah. man. Yeah. yeah. I tell you, his wait. mentality. You know. Yeah. What? Going in, yeah. he's gonna win at all costs. Rare man. breed, man. That's a mm-hmm. rare. That's a rare yeah. breed right there. 
Yeah, fantastic. Uh, I'm going to put you guys on the spot, man. Who, who, oh, that's who hard. You pick, <laughs> who you picking the win, You man? know what? I like both fighters again, yeah. dude, but I, I would like to see Jose Cepeda, uh, you know, take that title, you know, and then uh, Jose Ramirez fight Cepeda That'd be and good. take that rematch. title from him. Yeah, yeah. another rematch. Yeah. So uh, it's going to be a war. It's going to be a dog fight. And uh, I'm just going with who I want to win on this one because it's so close. And and I say Cepeda takes it. Um, and I can't even say by knockout, man. It's got to yeah. be by split decision. I, I, that's exactly what I was thinking, man. I'm yeah. going to go with the Cepeda and a barn burner uh, split decision. The one that could go either way. Yeah. But uh, Cepeda gets the nod. Oh, um, and that's, that's, I think, how it's going to go down. But we'll see, man. How about you, Bet Chaz? Uh, you know what? I probably agree with you, like, with Zepeda. But, like, at the same time, like, I'm not... I'm not trying to make really a decision on this yeah, fight. Right, right. You know what it's I mean? Close. Like, yeah, it's I feel like one, it's man. so close, and there's just mm-hmm. both, uh, both great. I mean, like, great fighters. It's almost man. like you get uh, you get one fighter, and um, you know, yeah, he hasn't fought in you know like a year or something. But you know, hey, this one's been more active. But hey, but this one's fought uh, better fighters. Yeah. So there's always just this like like oh, but he did this and he yeah. did that. It just makes Checks it really uh, yeah. uh, mm-hmm. hard to. Uh, Kind of make a good call on it. Yeah, I guess. right, right. The only thing that I see that Cepeda has the edge on right now is the crowd because he's from Southern California, dude, yeah. and there's going to be huge support. Southern, yeah, huge support, dude. Um, the crowd's going to be crazy. And uh, that's the only advantage right now I see for Cepeda. Yeah. I'm yeah. excited. You know, it's 140 pounds, right? Yeah, yeah. 140 pounds. I mean, for a title. Uh, it's, it's at a good weight division. You yeah. know, there, there's yeah. a lot of, uh, you know, it's almost like kind of like a, think about what what okay you pick your winner you, who's gonna who's gonna win it like who do they get after that you know say right. uh say uh progress wins like who who's gonna get that maybe he might get another shot at taylor who has the right. three you titles taylor, right. you got till female you know and then you know over the next year or two you're gonna have some of the 135 pounders going up going up to mm-hmm. 140 right like a yeah, hand it kind of makes uh, it a little exciting you know, you know yeah. once yeah. you're on the corner ryan garcia yeah so it's yeah. gonna be great uh all right guys cool well that that's gonna be on saturday also on saturday we have the zone mm-hmm. card from london uh, we have the return of Dillian, the body snatcher white. He will take on undefeated challenger Jermaine Franklin, mm-hmm. who is 21 and 0 with 14 KOs over 12 rounds. Uh, well, I guess I shouldn't say challenger because none of none of these boys are, are uh, champions right now. But uh, Dillian White is coming back uh, again. Dillian White coming back from that knockout uh, in the, uh, at the hands of Tyson Fury. Um, he's been knocked out by the uppercut. You know all. All his losses, so you know mm-hmm. he he does have that that chink in the armor. Okay. Uh, Bad Chaz, uh, how do you think uh, uh, you know, Franklin will be looking to do? Oh, you know what? I mean, uh, he, he don't seem like no joke according to his record. Right, yeah. Franklin, yeah. Franklin, you know, yeah. Franklin's got some power in, in his punch. So, yeah. and I mean, you got you got a White, you know, who has a delicate chin. Um, I don't really know uh, what White's trying to aim at, you know, with, with this fight. Or I mean, I don't know, you know, is he the A side or the B side? We'll um, out, he right has now. the bigger name because I've never heard of a uh, yeah, German, his opponent. Yeah. So yeah. I mean, um, but I mean, then again, on the on the other side of that token, um, I'm gonna give White the benefit of the doubt because he, I guess he he got a new uh, coach. Yes. So you know, I don't know. Did he make the Believe adjustments that he McGurk, needs? If I'm not mistaken. Yeah, then that could help. You know yeah, what yeah, you're right. Uh, neighborhood hero Ryan Rios. What do you yeah, think about you the know belt? what? It's it's hard to say because uh, Franklin's 21 to zero. He's 20 to zero for for a reason. You yeah. know what I mean? Yeah. And Dillian and White's the bigger name. So it's it's hard to say. I, I was reading something on on White wanting to face uh, Anthony, um, Joshua again? Anthony Joshua again. So if he beats this guy, I mean, is there like some type of eliminator going on? We don't yeah, know don't about. Know. I'm sure. I'm sure there so, is. Yeah, Eddie Hearn. Uh, Wilders yeah. become just this. Uh, everybody wants him now. No, it's Joshua. Oh, everybody Joshua. wants Joshua. Yeah, okay. Joshua. Yeah, he's on the you know on this yeah. comeback. Yeah, he brings that. Defeats. He brings that money. Yeah. To the event. So yeah. I mean, I, this one's hard to say. I mean, I'm gonna watch it, of course, but. I can't. I can't. Uh, yeah, I guess. Really I guess, figure this one out. I guess what we're gonna find out is if Jermaine Franklin uh, has the goods, you know, mm-hmm. as his record suggests, to yeah. to defeat uh, Dillian White, yeah. who I think is on the downward of his career. Yeah. Um. So you know, it's it's uh, Jermaine has everything to gain. Yeah. Nothing yeah. And say like Jermaine like looks impressive, dude, and he just destroys him. Right. Then we have another heavyweight, right. man. Exactly. And and Franklin, you know, he does have a little more of the youth on his side. I mean, uh, yeah. is that going to yeah. be the factor? You know, like it could uh, be. Could in be. the later uh, later rounds. Yeah, White has that wear and tear on his body. So yeah, 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 mm-hmm. yeah guys. So that that'll be on the zone, uh, probably early on uh, on Saturday because it is uh, it's live from London. All right, guys. Well, it's Thanksgiving week. I like to dedicate this segment to give thanks to the sport we love, boxing, man. Mm-hmm. Bad Chaz. Oh, man, I would just like to say thanks, you know, to the to the boxing community, whether it's, you know, a, a professional fighter, you know, mm-hmm. or, or um, you know, somebody working that venue, you know, like, uh, 
I just know that it's been uh, so um, good to me, you know, coming from, you know, watching, a, being a fan of other sports, you know, like professional baseball or, or professional football. And, and I mean, I, I went to all these events, you know, and I've, I've met some of the players and stuff and, and it's, you know, they're not very approachable. And I went to, you know, a, a handful of uh, boxing matches and stuff. And I mean, I've just got to make some really good connections. And it's, uh, it's just left a really good impression with me, you know what I mean? And, and it's, it's brought me consistency to follow the sport, you know. And uh, it's just been a, a, just a, a really good experience. And, and these people are nothing but humble. Yeah, um, yeah. You know, and then and then and look what it brought us—a a, a podcast, right. you know, where yeah, we're getting exactly. together and we're Absolutely sharing, you know, not. some of our some of mm -hmm. our things that uh, we yeah. enjoy together. And I, I don't think that uh, there's another sport that could have uh, done that for us, you know. So I'm just yeah. I'm just thankful for that uh, that part that it's brought me in my life and uh, the people that enjoy it with me. So yeah. mm -hmm. well yeah. said, that Chaz. Thanks. For man. me personally, I like to give thanks to boxing, man. In my youth, it's I think it's a sport that gave me identity, man. It was the only really sport that I was good at. Um, yeah, so it gave me that that personal confidence, mm -hmm. uh, and just growing up watching the sport, man, yeah. with my brothers, uh, whether it would be uh, Julio Cesar Chavez stopping Meldrick Taylor, you know, in the last round with two seconds left, or George Foreman at age forty five stopping Michael Moore to become the oldest heavyweight champion, you know, the sports ever had. It's just inspiring stories. Uh, Evander Holyfield defeating Mike Tyson in that first fight. I remember attending that fight with my brother, eighteen years old, man. Um, I was just stunned and inspired yeah. and, you know, just, just those, those mega events that just inspired, uh, you know, have been inspirational for me, man. Mm -hmm. The sport's been very exciting for me. You know, it's, it's just a sport that I love. And like you said, man, I'm, I'm glad it's brought us together also yeah. in this yeah. podcast, yeah, yeah, you know, yeah. my family together, you know, things we talk about and get around, you know, the, you know, around the TV or, you know, and enjoy the fights, man. So, yeah. So thank you, boxing. Uh, yeah. and again, all the peeps that we've met so far, yeah, it's been nothing but, but a, you know, a mm -hmm. pleasure. Mm -hmm. Neighborhood Hero Ryan Reels. You know, like now that you're saying that, dude, it uh, it brings me into that happy place, dude. That's my happy place. You know, it's like yeah. a Thanksgiving every weekend for me. Yeah, you yeah. know what I mean? Like, uh, I get a shirt with you guys. I get a shirt with my family. I get a shirt with my friends, dude. Like, what better time is that, dude? Yeah, you know what yeah. I mean? Like, no other sport has brought that to me where like I can call just this guy, that guy, and we're all just fans, you know what right. I mean? Like you go into yeah. these other sports, everybody has a team, right? But on on fighters, you pick one or the other, you right. know what yeah. I mean? And it's just like, you got this camaraderie going on, dude. You got yeah. this just this fight that's just epic, you know what I mean? And it's just something that I, I have embraced, something that I love, you know, something that I even love to do, you know right. what I mean? And something I want to get my kids involved with. Yeah. So this is just a sport that dude, just like you said, just so much humbleness, so much yeah. just, just, uh, these, these fighters are just all just warriors, man, you know, yeah. and they risk their lives every day, dude. And how can you not respect that? Yeah, yeah. Man. So this is a sport like no other. And I, I just, I love to be, you know, doing this podcast with you and feel like someone involved in the sport. Yeah. yeah and uh, right. I can't wait to see this, this movement keep growing because right now, dude, boxing is on the up, you know what yeah. I mean? And everybody right now is just, is just wanting to get involved and just pushing the sport. And I can't wait to see where it is in the next couple of years because yeah, we're going to sure. be along for that ride. You know yeah. what I mean? Heck yeah. 100%, man. Well said, neighborhood here around Rios. Again, thank you so much, Boxing. Thank you, all the thank fans. Thank you, Boxing. Thank you, yeah. everybody. Yeah, everybody. And you man. know what? Thanks for all the people that, you know, uh, joined us this year, you know, like uh, yeah, exactly. uh, joining our podcast. You know, we got some really special guests, like, like give thanks yeah. to those guys. Yeah, yeah. exactly. Yeah. Man. So cheers to them. Cheers, man. Yep. Thank you guys cheers. so much. Man. Cheers, cheers brother. Man. All right. Fantastic, guys. Well, that concludes our podcast. We want to thank, again, all our viewers. Please remember to uh, subscribe. If you haven't subscribed, uh, like our videos and share them. It'll go a long way in helping us, uh, you know, grow the channel. Um, shout out just to, again, all our viewers, right? Yeah. Thank you guys so much. Um, and you guys want to say anything? Uh, you know what? Happy Thanksgiving. You guys be safe out there and just uh, enjoy your family and your loved ones. Yeah. Maybe yeah, same here, you know, like it's the holidays, just enjoy it, you know, like just, I mean, what what else is there to say? But right. Just yeah, have right. fun, have a yeah. good time and just, you know, eat yeah. as much as you can. <laughs> right. Yeah. Well said, guys. With that said, we'll see you guys next week. Uh, thanks again to sound guy Rob, uh, you, camera Rob. guy Liam. Uh, guys, you guys have a safe uh, Thanksgiving weekend and we'll see you next week, guys. I am Coach D. This is Neighborhood Hero Ryan Reels and Bad Chaz. And we're out.